So my main goal in life is to take my very flat straight hair to a perfect undone wave and I feel like I've been doing it wrong my entire life until now. I'm gonna show you guys how I do a very, very quick, perfect, loose wave that kind of like I just went surfing at the beach, but not because I look more fabulous than that, but I have the beachy hair of my dreams kind of look. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I put a leave-in conditioner in my hair. I blow dried my hair. This is my hair blow dried. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this. I do use a curling iron for this, but I have a special new technique that I have been using with the curling iron. I use this instead of a wand because I actually find this is very effective for one part that we're going to do at the end of the curl. So I've really come to appreciate this little thumb finger toggle here over a wand. I prefer these curls over wand curls. So the first thing we're gonna do is brush out the hair, make sure it's all nice and smooth. And then I like to section my hair into four sections, but I also just do one side at a time. So I'm gonna take half of my hair and put it away in a clip and we'll, we'll come back to you later, sweetie. So then when we get the bottom hair, basically we're gonna be taking tiny little pieces of hair, smaller chunks, and the whole key to the undone wave, especially when you're using a heated tool that I found anyway when I'm doing this particular look, is to leave the tool on the hair for as little time as possible. We're not wanting to get that entire curled effect, we just want a little, little bump in there. And another thing that I've learned is that I like to start the curl about halfway down the hair, obviously depending on how long your hair is but as my hair has been growing a little bit longer I like to start it around the halfway point and we're just doing a little turn the whole point is to just get like one bend in the hair and that'll give the more undone loose wave effect so I'm gonna start with this first piece here I'm gonna be curling the waves away from my hair I switch up the directions a few times but I always start away so I'm gonna be starting at the midpoint of my hair I do one curl and then what I do is I loosen the thumb toggle all the way down until the end of my hair and then you pull it down <laughs> I don't know how to talk through this basically you're keeping the clamp fixed on the end so you're almost straightening the end part so basically what you're left with is just a little wave right in the middle and then a straighter more sleeked smoothed out end of the wave so we're doing that one away and then the next chunk of hair I'm going to do towards me. So I'm doing one curl in the center and then I'm loosely dragging the wand through and right as we get to the end of the hair I'm going to straighten the wand out and smooth out the end. Just like that! It's so easy and when you're only doing half your head it's really a lot faster. Then again switching up the direction, facing away. some pieces are looking a little bit more flat than others don't be afraid to just go back in and give it a little rejig sometimes a few of the pieces in the hair I like it to have a curl starting a little bit more up just to give me a little bit of extra volume but it kind of just depends on what you're what you're going for I'm pretty happy with how this looks I feel like this is nice and undone looking and then I will put down the top layer and do the exact same thing on the top the first piece the back of the head I always like to make sure that I'm brushing it out straight at the back just because I don't like to have that back of the head line you know thing. and I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing on the top that we did to the bottom I'm gonna start away I'm gonna rotate them as we go away toward away toward and then always make sure the bangs are going away from the face too give it that windswept look outside of the face.
and then when all of the curls are done I just like to shake it all out see what the waves are looking like and I think this one this one's good I think it turned out just great so we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side like you've curled a piece a little bit more than the other like this side's a little bit more curly and bouncy than this side I just take the curling iron and I just clamp it over kind of like a straightener and it smooths it out a little bit but that is it that is how fast and easy the actual curls take you could absolutely leave it like this but I always like to emphasize it a little bit with some product so for me when I'm styling my hair I always like to ensure that it will last all day long and I won't get greasy or oily as I'm touching my hair all day so I like to go in with a dry shampoo so I'm gonna take a dry shampoo and just spray it throughout my root and soak up some of the excess oils I also find that adding a little bit of dry shampoo just automatically adds a little bit of volume too. Lately I've just been using dry shampoo in lieu of any kind of root texture powder. The dry shampoo kind of does that on its own. It's already even more voluminous. But if you wanted even more volume, I always go in with a texturizing spray. And what I do with the texture spray is I lift up the hair and I spray the spray as I go down and I find it really gets into the nitty gritty portions of the hair. So I'm gonna take the spray, lift the hair, and spray as I drop it. Just a, just a couple spritzes will do. And then because we've just soaked our hair in drying powders, I always like to take a little spritz, a little skirt of hair oil. I put it right into the palm of my hand, mix it in through my hair, and I just run this over the top and through the ends of my hair, kind of pulling as I go. And this just helps add a little bit of extra shine into all of the powder and damage that we've just given to our hair. And finally, if you wanted to lock it in place and make sure that it stays all day, give it a little bit of a light hold hairspray. Emphasis on the light. Because I don't like it when my hair feels like chunky and hard and, and plasticky. I like it to still remain very soft so throughout the day when I'm re my hair, I can still put my hands through it. It's not being melted into place with a hard hold hairspray. So a light hairspray is my preference. And that is everything for this very easy, very quick, undone wavy hairstyle. The perfect undone tousled waves, if you will. I am absolutely obsessed with this technique. I have been doing my hair like this absolutely every single day. It is so easy and it's so quick. Another bonus, this hairstyle lasts many a days. I really don't have to redo my hair for the next couple days, which is so great. It's the perfect lazy gals waves, y'all. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you recreate it, definitely tag me. Let me know if any of these tips helped you in your hair curling days. And if you have any tips for me or any favorite products that you like to use, let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel channel if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye! Just kidding, we've got a giveaway! Woo! I really wanted to give you all my favorite hair products when it comes to doing my hair but unfortunately Canada Post has an aerosol can restriction which are many of the things that I use. So I went to Sephora today and I just bought a bunch of my favorite hair products that didn't involve aerosol cans and I bought them for you. So one of you will win this bag of hair goodies. Way leave-in conditioner, loving this so much lately. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. Very annoying packaging, but very great hair mask. Huey scalp and body scrub looks divine. The Way hair oil, which I've also used today. The Olaplex hair perfector, the original mask. That is such a favorite. I also picked up a Kerastase Elixir ultime hair mask and then some really cute slip silk hair ties so all of those are going in here some of my hair care 
hair pampering favorites. One of you can enter to win that. Check the description box down below on how you can enter to win. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.